Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at how we can use S Foundation to define map foundations. We have a dedicated tool for this type of foundation, the map foundation tool. You can see on the left-hand side of the screen. And when I left click on this map foundation tool, the tool window updates with various parameters that allow me to specify the dimensions, uh, the shapes, and so on in my foundation. The one I want to draw your attention to right away is under the pad container here, we have the shape type. Currently it's set to polygon, that's a default, meaning that you can trace out the shape of your pad by clicking the vertices. And it could be any shape you like, but we have a variety of others. So if you have a circular pad, for example, or a ring pad, you can define one with the parameters that might make up uh, that type of shape. Now I'm just going to go with the default parameters for now. Uh, you can see, for example, thickness. Um, I'm not going to define any steps uh, or anything like that that might give it a varying thickness. But what I want to just draw your attention to as well is at the bottom of the screen, this is going to be a useful guide for us when we're working with S Foundation. So you can see I have this Map Foundation tool pad mode uh, activated right now. And that's just giving me different ways to define my Map Foundation pad. It's saying click to add pad, pad, uh, pad polygon points, click escape to switch to the selection tool, and to edit an existing map foundation, right click on an object view and choose edit graphically. Now I'm going to get right to it now and I'm going to define my pad. I'm just going to switch to the plan view to make it a little bit easier and I'm going to make it a 10 meter by 10 meter pad. I'm using this little uh, readout here of the geometry uh, input, so 10 meters by 10 meters and just closing it off here. And you'll notice at the bottom of the screen it says double click an existing point to create the pad. And I can also change my insertion point by just pressing the tab button. I can delete a point that I might have already clicked by pressing the control button and clicking on that point. And once I'm done defining my pad, I just double click on the last point, which is this one right here. When I double click, it now switches to the next mode, which is pedestal mode. And if we just read the text again, it says click to add pedestals anywhere you'd like. I'm actually going to go back to the 3D view uh, for this example. And I'm going to minimize the pad container for a section. And just look at the pedestal options here. I can see that it's going to create a new pedestal because I don't have any defined yet. I could have created my own pedestal definitions beforehand and just grab the ones that I need and insert them as I need to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to specify a few different height pedestals. I'll go with a thousand millimeter height first. I could also change the shape or the dimensions, but I'm just going to draw in a couple thousand millimeter pedestals right now that they're one meter tall. And I just left click to insert those. I'm then going to change the height and I'm going to say, uh, let's go with a 500 millimeter pedestal and I'll draw a couple of those in as well. Just right over here. Now, if we draw our attention back to the bottom of the screen, it says tab for wall or pile mode. So if I want to add some walls to my map foundation, I press the tab button. And now S Foundation is telling me that I'm in wall mode. To define the walls, we open up the wall container here. And we can enter the dimensions like we saw before. So again, I'll enter a height and a width or a thickness rather. I'll say 350 millimeters and uh, thick and 100 meter, millimeters high. I'll draw in one, and of course I could define other walls of different dimensions if I wanted to. But the last point I want to just bring our attention to is if I click tab one more time. So now I'm in pile mode, and we can see here under the pad container, under pile cap, I have the option to select my pile. This is the default pile size that we're using. And I've actually pre-created a few pile options. So I've got two of them. I've got uh, the default one that I've saved, uh, 400 millimeters in diameter and 10 meters long. And I can draw one of those in here, or maybe a couple of those as I see fit. Maybe I'll just go around the outside of the pad as an example. And if I want to switch that, I can say, okay, you know what, let's go with the larger pal now, uh, 500 millimeters in diameter and 15 meters long. And I'll draw in a few of these as well. And let's just say, for example, that I miss 
mistakenly clicked at this location here and I didn't want that pile to be there. That could have been a pedestal or anything really that I've added there. So let's just say that I've added one and I want to get rid of it. I just hold down the control button and left click and get rid of that and it will remove that pile. Now I can just double click on any of the piled points that I've clicked and it's going to define that map foundation for me. And we're able to see what we're left with here. So clearly we have two different length of piles. We've got different height pedestals and we've got that small wall. The finite element model has been created for me. I can modify the mesh if I'd like to. I can make changes to all the parameters, including the soil profile. So under the define menu, if I go to pads, pile caps, here I can see a record of my pad, which I can obviously modify as well. But under the pile cap tab, I'm able to not only change the location of all these uh, piles, but I can also change the size pile that's being used, the soil profile that's attached to it. By default, it's going to grab the same soil profile that you've assigned to the pad. Uh, so in this case here, it's using that default, but we have if we had multiples, we could assign different ones to different piles. And we can also control the pile head and tip fixity and batter from this location.